guys, Shardom is Prime here doing another NECA figure review on the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes movie, Luca figure. If you're trying to get your figures, you can't get a big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So we got the same clamshell packaging just like the rest, says Luca right there, new one. Oh man, little Luca's like, that's the best sandwiches in the world. All right, anyway, and on the other side over here, we have Caesar, which I reviewed, Koba, which I reviewed, and then there's Luca again. All right. Let's get to it and crack this thing open. Then here's Luca out of the packaging. A really well done figure. I love the paint sculpt on this thing. Beautiful silver back gorilla over here. I really like the paint coming across all the way to the back. That is really nice. A lot of white paint. Yeah, I think only the males have the silver backs, right? So Luca is a dude, right? And I like the brown hair right here at the top and the texturing of the fur and everything is really well done. Uh, one thing though is that I did have a little QC issue. This is actually my second copy. NECA graciously sent me another one. I did break the leg on this one. One, and that was just due to there being extra plastic in the hinge. And I did heat up the figure before I started moving the joints around as I did with this one over here as well. So make sure you do that and if it still breaks, you know, contact neck. Now the figure comes with two head sculpts and I think both of them are absolutely fantastic. I love the facial expression on this head sculpt right here. The eyes look so well done, man. The paint is just very, very clean on those eyes. I really loved all the little detailed lines right there sculpted in it. The mouth looks great. The fur looks awesome. It's a really well done head sculpt. And again, I do like the touch of brown paint right here on the top. Very film accurate. And popping the heads on and off is very easy. You just have a ball joint right there. Looking sick. Wow. That is ferocious. Th this thing will bite your head off it looks like. Look at those teeth, man. So I think Neca did a fantastic look. You even see the texturing on the tongue right there. That is sick. Get some black paint right there underneath the tongue. The teeth, the roof of the mouth is sculpted really well. Looks like the teeth are all gritty and everything too. It's tricky to see, but there's beige color variation right there. There's like a molding line right here, but not like how it was on the Caesar figure. And I really like how the eyes look on this one too. Very nice glossy paint on this section. Really, really nice sculpt. That is frightening. I think NECA did a great job on the body sculpt on this figure overall. I really like how these lines came through. See the nipples on Luca. Nice fur coming on over here. A little bit similar to Maurice. You can see some of the hair hanging off right there. The hands are sculpted really nicely. I like this a lot. A lot of nice details in the hands and everything. These came out looking great. I will say though, I think the stomach could be a little bit bigger. One thing I noticed in the movie, like in that scene when Luca pounds on the back of not Matthew McConaughey, you could see like Luca had a really big bonsai right here, you know? So it's like, I think this could have been a little bit bigger. And this is made out of a soft material too, especially if you use a hair dryer, it really softens up nicely, which is good. I think that's a smart move. It helps with the articulation, especially in the hips. Then looking at the legs, the fur is consistently well done. And then we got those Luca toes. Mm-hmm, look at those. I get one last look at the back. Oh, there's little Luca right there. And there's the back of the figure and all the fur looking really sick. Now articulation wise, the head sculpts move the same amount. They can move all the way up, which I think looks great, especially for, you know, gorilla crawling kind of poses. You know, that's awesome. Uh, you get side to side rotation and you do get some shifting around side to side like that. Uh, the shoulders move outward a bit, not all the way up though. And you can rotate them forward. The elbows do bend at 90 degrees. I will say though, on both elbows, it is a little loose though. I wish the figure did have a double jointed elbow so we could get some chest pounding action and then these hands are on ball joints so they move in and out and all the way around. Luca has a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side. It doesn't crunch forward and back as much as I would like it to and there's just a little bit of pivot in there so it's mostly just a rotation joint right there. Then the hips do move outward on this figure and you can kick them forward. You do get rotation right here up at the top. You get a single jointed knee that bends in just that much and you can straighten it out that much and then the ankle can't really move down so much it moves up a bit. Rotate side to side and you do get ankle pivot. Now Luca stands right at seven inches tall. And here's Luca compared to the other two figures from the wave. We have series two Caesar and series two Koba. And here's Luca next to the series one Dawn of the Planet of the Apes figure. We have Caesar, Maurice, and Koba right over there. And seeing all four of these together like this just looks sick. For a gorilla comparison, here's Luca compared to the SH Monster Arts King Kong and the Transformers Beast Wars Trans Metals Optimus Primal. And of course, here's Luca compared to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. So aside from the QC issue, I really do like the figure a lot. I wish the arm articulation was just a little bit better, but for the the most part I really like the figure. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button right over there. Check out my last review of the Koba figure from series two right over there. And don't forget to add me on Instagram. And also make sure you check out my photo gallery at toynewseye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <coughs>